My name is Mike Murphy with Pacor Technical Service. I'm joined by Matt Falcone and Glenn Murphy, also with Tech Service here behind the scenes. And we're going to go ahead and demonstrate our fluid applied air barrier system. This is the XL Perm liquid applied vapor permeable air barrier system. It's a hybrid chemistry. It's a silicone urethane hybrid. This is not a water based system. You know, some of the attributes of a hybrid chemistry is excellent UV resistance, washout resistance, nail sealability, uh, weatherability, general weatherability. It's approved for 12 months continuous exposure, and it's all fluid applied in a single coat. So first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and seal some penetrations on the sheathing wall. You know, on any project, you're going to have multiple penetrations coming through your concrete wall or your sheathing. The whole point of an air barrier system, anyone's air barrier system, is a continuous air seal. So you want to make sure all these gap seams are caulked and sealed up tight. So Glenn, why don't you go ahead and we'll get started in caulking around you know, the perimeter of any electrical boxes, penetrations, whatever it may be. Seams in your sheathing, you're going to want to caulk those as well. Again, it's all about a continuous air seal. So this is the Exo Flash liquid flashing and joint filler. It's packaged in a 20 ounce sausage. This also utilizes the hybrid chemistry. Fully cured, here we have it right here. It's tough, durable membrane. It's puncture resistant, tear resistant. So you got guys installing windows, banging windows around with sharp corners and the window openings. They're not gonna be poking holes in this flashing. It's a very tough, durable product. It actually has a Shoei hardness of 55, which makes it pretty tough stuff. All right, so Glenn has sealed the electrical box. And now he's sealing that PVC penetration. You have any cables, you know, conduit, any type of penetration, it needs to be sealed up before you install the air barrier coating. So again, it's all about a continuous air seal throughout the system. You don't want any air leakage in your air barrier system. That's the death of any air barrier system is air leakage. You know, the point of an air barrier is increase, you know, energy efficiency as well as weatherproofing, you know, the inside of your building. And of course, this system is not exposed. You know, once the building is complete, you know, you'll either have an EIFS system or a brick system or a metal panel system applied, you know, over the sheathing or block or whatever it may be. The one question we get a lot is, you know, how to address the fasteners on a, you know, a sheathing wall application. So what we tell our customers is that any fasteners that are installed flush, you know, with the face of the sheathing could simply be detailed with the coating. Right? No need to go ahead and hit all those screw heads with the flashing, which can be very uh, time consuming. Any fasteners that are countersunk or misaligned, you need to hit them with some flashing. So just keep in mind, any flush, flushly installed fasteners, you don't need to flash them with the Exo flash. Okay? So, but again, any joints, seams, gaps, need to be caulked with the Exo flash, first and foremost. Okay, so we got the penetration caulked the electrical box. Next step is flashing your window openings. Obviously, you're going to have many window openings in your building. All those openings, whether they're block or sheathing, OSB, whatever they may be, need to be flashed. Glenn, why don't we go ahead and start flashing the window? You're going to want about a two inch band on both the inside and outside of the window opening. This can be accomplished by simply installing like a zigzag pattern or using a uh, flat nozzle. Now what we're looking for is 20 to 40 wet mills of material. So you're going to want to use a mill gauge. Make sure you're putting on the proper coverage of the flashing. But it's generally a thin system. You know, 20 to 40 wet mills is all that's required. So Glenn's, you know, applying the flashing around the window. You can either take a flat trowel and strike it off. You could use a corner trowel, which we're going to show you today. Um, the key is you want a continuous flashing membrane, no gaps or voids in the material. If there is a gap between the sheathing and the stud, say a quarter inch gap, just hit that with a tiny bead of, of the exo flash and then just do your flashing membrane application right over top. So again, it's packaged in a 20 ounce sausage. It will skin over in about 20 minutes at 75 degrees. So it's a fast curing product. This is a moisture cure hybrid, silicone urethane hybrid material, and it's very quick drying, so keep that in mind. So if you're applying material in direct sunlight, it's 90 degrees outside, high humidity, 
it's going to skin over relatively quickly, so keep that in mind. So Glenn's continuing on to flash the window. Okay, there's no peel and stick membranes in this system. No cutting and shaping, no spraying primers on for your self-adhered membranes. The entire system is fluid applied. So we find that's very user friendly. The flashing obviously fluid applied and the coating can be sprayed or rolled. So you have options as far as application. Okay, so we have the window flashed. In all honesty, it doesn't need to look pretty. You just need to get the proper amount of coverage down, 20 to 40 wet mills. Of course, this is not going to be exposed. You're going to have your windows installed. Um, if you're installing a flange window, you're going to hit the, the end of the termination of the flange with a bead of sealant. Again, it's all about a continuous air seal and weather seal. Glenn's going to do the outside corner. So, you know, all air barrier manufacturers are going to require that you flash all the inside and outside corners, whether it be block or sheathing. Obviously, you're going to have a seam there. You have an area for air and moisture to get into your building. You're going to want to seal that off tight. So you're going to do, again, a two-inch band of flashing on the outside corner. You could use a corner trowel. You could use a flat trowel. The point is to get down you know, a minimum 20 wet mils of flashing on both your inside and outside corners. So again, about two inches out on both sides of the outside corner, pretty standard for liquid flashing materials. So that's it, so you're done. So you're also addressing the screw heads as well when hitting that corner. On your project, you may have some situations where you have large gaps, say where a steel columns are meeting up to a block wall, you may have a two, three inch wide gap there. Generally, you're not going to apply a liquid joint sealant in a, such a large gap, right? So, again, it's all about a continuous air seal, so you need to seal that gap, that void. So what you can do is you can seal it with this silicone transition membrane. 100% silicone, elastomeric, you know, excellent elongation properties, tear resistant. It's available in four, six, and nine inch width, widths. It can be cut, it can be spliced, it can be shaped. Um, it's available in translucent only. We do that on purpose. So you can see where the silicone adhesive is. You're gonna use our AVB silicone adhesive as the adhesive for the transition membrane. First and foremost, if you ever dealt with any type of preformed silicone material, obviously the first step in the process is putting down your beads of adhesive. So generally you're gonna go with like a half inch, three eighth inch bead on both sides of your opening. We cut, I don't know, two or three inch gap into that sheathing just to represent a large opening that needs to be caulked or sealed. So Glenn's applying a bead of the adhesive on both sides, and you're simply just gonna press the material in place. Can't get any easier than that. Some guys will use a roller to wet out the adhesive. Basically, you wanna ensure you have intimate contact between the membrane and the silicone adhesive. As straightforward as you can get, lay down your bead of adhesive, lay down your membrane. You know, other areas where you may see a, a silicone transition membrane utilized is you know, where your below grade waterproofing meets up to the bottom of your sheathing wall, you may have a large gap there, and you're gonna to wanna to seal that gap. So again, it's available in four, six, and nine inch widths. It's the Pacora Excel Span silicone transition membrane. Okay, so now it's time to install the heart of the coating, which is the Excel Perm Ultra VP. It's packaged here in five gallon pails. It's also available in drums. This is a vapor permeable fluid applied air barrier coating. So keep in mind, if you have a spec that's going for a non-permeable coating, you're not going to want to use the exoperm. However, most specs these days are calling for vapor permeable systems, so you can go with the exoperm. You're going to want to detail any areas you can't get to with a roller. Obviously, if you're spraying, you can get into all those nooks and crannies with a sprayer. However, if you're rolling, you're going to want to detail those tight areas you know, with just a chip brush. It's going to go down to 10 to 14 wet mills. You're going to use a half-inch snap roller on sheathing, you may want to use a three-quarter inch nap on block, depending on the porosity of your block wall. Okay, so you're simply going to paint it on, just like you're painting a wall. Very simple application. Of course, you're going to wet your roller out before you proceed, and you simply just paint the material on. You're going to have a mill gauge handy, uh, especially initially, you want to ensure that you're getting the proper coverage of the system down. Pacora offers mill gauges, of course, free of charge. Right, if you ever use a mill gauge, very simple device, you just press the, the gauge onto the coating, it's gonna wet out the notches, you read the last notch that's wetted out, notch, and it tells you how many mills you have. So you're looking for anywhere from 10 to 14 wet mills. 
All right, so we have the wall coated with the XL Perm coating. The system's pretty much complete at this point. So I mentioned the washout resistance. You can see immediately it's impervious to washout. This is right off the roller. So if you're down in Florida and you get a sudden thunderstorm pop up and you just coat it your wall, you can rest assured that this material is going to stay on the wall and not be in a puddle at the base of the wall. So excellent washout resistance, UV stability, nail sealability, and the list goes on. So again, this is the XL Perm Vapor Permeable Air Barrier System. All right, so that concludes our demonstration. Thank you for, for your time.